news we're following from overnight. Yeah, police chase ends with a deadly crash. 7 Action News reporter Nima Shafay is on the scene in Inkster. Nima, what happened here? Malcolm in a new good morning. This all started in Dearborn Heights when officers from Dearborn Heights came on this car, turned their lights on, and that's when the chase started. What we do know right now is that this is where it all ended. We're on Sylvia Street in Inkster. The vehicle that you see right here in our live pictures is on Dartmouth Street in Inkster. Crashed into a tree. One person is dead. That is a woman that was in the passenger seat. The male driver, we're told, uh, is in a very critical condition at this hour. What we do know right now is that there are a handful of police agencies here on scene, including clearly Dearborn Heights as well as Inkster and the Michigan State Police. Michigan State Police called in to investigate this as it was uh, in the vehicle involved was in, uh, a part of a police chase again started in Dearborn Heights. All of this happening around five o'clock this morning and my police sources tell me that while well, officers may have been con uh, thinking about uh, a pit maneuver and a, uh, excuse me <coughs> a pit maneuver is where they try to tap the rear uh, corner of the car and try to stop it. That did not happen at this point. Preliminarily in their investigation, my sources tell me it does not appear that any police cruiser came into contact with that car and that right now it appears that the driver of the car lost control, killing his female passenger and of course uh, slamming into this tree here on Dartmouth. We are in Inkster this morning. We are uh, in contact with police not only from Dearborn Heights but as well uh, the city of Inkster and as we learn more information about this, we'll keep you posted. We're live this morning. I'm Nima Shafay, 7 Action News.